sisters. Okay. The second question is, the sister says, I have heard that clapping and whistling used to be a form of worship in the pagans or some other religions. Now, and similarly, birthday celebrations. Now, what is your opinion? What is the proper opinion on these? Are we supposed to participate in these kind of rituals? Can we clap and can we whistle? What's, anything is wrong with celebrating birthdays? Sister, if you had heard the rules of the question answers, mm -hmm. I always prefer that first the non-Muslim should ask the question. And if Muslim is asking the question, ask the question on the topic. These questions on fiqh and masail you can ask to the ulmas and sheikhs. I am a specialist in Islam and comparative religion. Not that I cannot answer these questions. I am a specialist on Islam and comparative religion. Ask me questions which are unique. You get a heart specialist and ask him that I have a cough now what to do. <laughs> not that I cannot answer these questions, sister. Therefore, I personally prefer first give the opportunity to the non-Muslims. After the non-Muslims have exhausted the opportunity, then the Muslims can ask. And if the Muslims ask, please restrict your question to the topic, dialogue between religions. Since the sister asked the first question, I allowed her to break the rules. Second time, no problem. But see to it that the person who wants to ask the question, let her or him ask directly. I don't prefer chits, and I don't prefer via via question. I prefer direct. And I am a... Mashallah, mashallah, direct, I'm direct I prefer. And when you get direct questions, the questions are better on the topic. These indirect on the chat, you know, behind the scene, behind the, direct. So therefore I request all the other mics, please give first a point to the non-Muslims, let them benefit. Muslims can always ask on the email, no problem. After the non-Muslims have exhausted, then the Muslims can ask, but please restrict your question to the topic. The sister has the question, that she has heard that clapping and whistling is a form of worship and about birthdays, can we celebrate? Quranic verse which does say that clapping and whistling is a form of worship. So, but natural, in our worship, we cannot clap, we cannot whistle. But what about normal clapping? There are differences of opinions between ulmas. Some of the shaykhs say that clapping is not right. Most of the shaykhs say that because Quranic verse says it's a form of worship, in worship you cannot clap, you cannot whistle. But otherwise, generally, if it's a culture, as long as it doesn't go against the Quran and Sharia, if it's a gesture of appreciation, best is Allah Akbar, mashallah, no problem. But clapping will not come in the haram category, it will come in Muba category, difference of opinion. Difference of opinion. Most say it is Muba, some say it is haram. If it's an appreciation, no problem. As far as birthday celebration is concerned, again, some shiuk say that celebrating birthday is haram. Some say it is muba. I personally feel that celebrating birthday of personalities, especially of religious leaders, etc., it leads to shirk. Celebrating birthdays of prophet, like whether it be Christmas, celebrating birthdays of religious personalities, it leads to shirk. But celebrating birthday per se, it can be called as makru because there's no hadith which says that do not celebrate birthdays. I don't know any hadith. But does say that do not imitate the kuffar. So therefore celebrating birthdays of religious personalities, I feel it leads to shirk. But celebrating birthdays per se, I would call as makru because it leads you away from Islam like dancing and music, etc. But if someone says, I want to celebrate birthday and keep Islamic lecture, I cannot say it is. <laughs> Haram. So how you celebrate birthday depends. Some of the scholars say that birthday is haram. Some scholars say that celebrating in the haram way is haram. I personally feel celebrating birthdays of religious personalities or famous personalities and anniversary, etc. is totally haram. It leads to shirk. But celebrating otherwise Muslims, I say, should not celebrate in our school. It's the rule of the school, not of the Sharia, that you should not celebrate birthday. So I can put any rule in my school, being the chairman of the school, which is not against Quran Sunnah. So in my school, the rule is no children should celebrate birthday. But if you ask me as a fatwa in Islam, it is preferable not to do it. It leads you away from Allah and His Rasul. But birthday per se, Per se, I don't know if any hadith or Quranic verse which says it is haram. So depending upon which scholar do you take the view of? Hope that answers the question, sister.